okay? f of x is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared, but we're on the interval negative 1, 2. Now, the first thing we have to do is find the derivatives so we can find the critical number. That will be f prime of x, which be equal to 3x squared minus 12x. <clears throat> okay? To save time, I'm going to do it. We set this equal to 0. All right? <clears throat> 3x squared minus 12x, which is equal to 0. Now, what does 3x squared and 12x have in common? You factor out the greatest common factor, which is 3x. That's 3x and then x minus 4, which is equal to 0. All right? <clears throat> so now, we know that 3x is equal to 0, so x is equal to 0, x minus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 4. So these are our critical points. These are our critical points. You remember we talked about the importance of them, but now this is what we look at. <clears throat> We're only concerned about what's happening on the interval from negative 1 to 2. So in this case, we could cross out x is equal to 4. Why? Because 4 is outside of the interval. We're only concerned about what's going on between negative 1 and 2. Okay? So now, we're only going to do x is equal to 0. So now we come back. And we evaluate everything. Alright? So we're going to evaluate this. I'm sorry, our original function was x cubed minus 6x squared. So we have f of negative 1 f of 0 remember 0 is one of our critical points and then also f of 2 which is our other endpoint Okay, now remember, order of operations, negative 1 cubed, that is negative 1, minus negative 1 squared, 1 times negative 6, 1 times negative 6, equals negative 7, 0 minus 6 times 0 squared is 0, 8, <coughs> Minus 8 times 6 is negative uh, 48. 8 minus 48 is equal to negative 40. The lowest point here is going to be 2, negative 40. That's an absolute minimum at 2, negative 40. The highest point is going to be 0, 0, which is our origin. So that's the absolute max. Like I said, I'm sorry we have a lack of space, but that's how we do that problem. Disregard the 4 because it's outside of our selected interval. 